in the fire that burnt down a downtown Duluth synagogue to the ground on Monday. Police confirmed today that they arrested 36-year-old Matthew Amiot on Friday in connection with the case. Tonight, he's behind bars at the St. Louis County Jail, facing a felony charge of first-degree arson. CBS 3's Emma Quinn shares the details leading up to that arrest and how the congregation is reacting. During a news conference Sunday, police said Matthew Amiot cooperated with investigators after his arrest downtown Duluth on Friday. Police say they have no indication the fire at Addis Israel Congregation was a hate crime. Police interviewed two people of interest that day who happened upon the, the uh, fire in the early morning hours. After a full-scale canvas of the area and nearby surveillance video and conversations with the St. Louis County District Attorney's Office, an arrest. A decision is made at that time to effect a probable cause arrest of Matthew John Amiot for arson. Police didn't elaborate on how or what sparked the fire at the synagogue other than saying there were no signs of an accelerant. At this moment in time, there is no reason to believe that this is a bias or hate crime. This may change as the investigation progresses. According to court records, the 36-year-old has several past convictions for theft and trespassing. Members of Adas Israel, who observed their first Sabbath this weekend without their synagogue, say they won't speculate on the suspect's motive. I would warn everybody, you're proven innocent, uh, innocent until proven guilty. All I can find out of this event is sadness. Rabbi Philip Scheer says the congregation is grateful for the heroic acts of Duluth Fire and Police Departments. Just amazing what they did. They went into our lower uh, sanctuary to, to get some of our our uh, religious items, the bravery of these men is just incredible. Today we also learned the identity of a firefighter who was injured during the incident. His name is Captain Ben Gassner. He was injured after being struck by falling debris. Captain Gassner has been with Duluth Fire for 19 years. We've learned he's home from the hospital, resting and recovering. Anyone who would like to send gifts or notes to the Adas Israel congregation is asked to send them to Duluth City Hall. The congregation is in the process of setting up a P.O. box. For the time being, they say sending everything to one location is appreciated. Anything sent to City Hall will be personally delivered. You can find more information on our website, cbs3duluth.com.